Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about Dead Matter. This is the most requested game that has ever been requested on this channel. Like even so much that when I was streaming a completely different game, one of the developers of Dead Matter decided to come into my stream and say, if you got any questions related to Dead Matter, feel free to DM me on the Discord. I had to verify that he was actually a developer and he was. So I didn't actually know what to ask him because you know, I'm not someone that could think of questions off the top of my head. So I asked a bunch of my subscribers if they could send me a bunch of questions so I could just give it to him and he'll answer whatever. I ended up getting a bunch of questions that I know were already answered so I tried to take out as much as possible so that it's not redundant. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing, just getting a bunch of questions answered. And if you would like to just hear that part, then you could skip to this number that's on the screen. But for those of you that don't know, Dead Matter is essentially like a Daisy dash miscreated sort of game with Escape from Tarkov mechanics when it comes to inventory management and scum mechanics when it comes to health and keeping your guy alive. But one thing that I think that Dead Matter is doing great in is just the fact that the zombies seem to be an actual factor. Because that's the one thing that I feel that Miscreated and DayZ get wrong. It's mostly just PvP. It's never like PvPVE, you know? Like, you never really have to worry about the zombies. They're almost like a non-factor. And another thing that I think that Dead Matter is going to get right is just the amount of detail that I've seen come out of this crew. Like, just the way that you can actually physically go grab something and put it in your truck and you can actually see it there. That's fucking cool cool. I really can't wait to see what actually comes out of this game. It's definitely a game to look out for. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and hop into the questions here. He wasn't able to answer every question that I gave to him, but he answered a good majority of them. So I'm just going to run down the list here. Will you be able to edit your genitals? Real classy guys. The developer says, no, there is no nudity. How big will the map be? And will there be multiple ones? The developer says, the closed alpha maps is planned to be 25 kilometers or 15 and a half miles for my American viewers with the final map being 256 kilometers or 159 miles multiple maps like calgary are planned calgary according to google calgary is a town in canada maybe you guys know something that, that i don't know i don't know but anyways community servers the developer says yes we will release all server files at the start of the closed alpha is this geared towards a more casual survival experience or a more hardcore one and the developer says dead matter is going for a fun greater than realism approach we are not afraid to change things in the name of fun cool 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 will weapons jam and wear down and the developer says weapon jamming and conditions are planned will there be night maps and mvgs if so how many and he says the game features a day and night cycle and civilian night vision goggles are planned any plans for enemy ai like a private military or group that is an ai the developer replies with the game features animal and zombie ai at the moment with human ai and even ai factions being planned will there be different types of zombies like big deformed ones the developer replies with multiple zombie types are planned but we try to keep them grounded in the game world can you shoot the lights out and he replies with yes any military vehicles like tanks or armored transports and he replies with no any helicopters the developer replies with helicopters are planned will there be character customization and he replies with yes how will storing stuff in the back of the trucks work can people steal from them if there is pvp and the more stuff you have in there how does it affect the car if it does at all what about adding on a tarp and he replies with items in the back of your vehicle can be stolen and do not affect the handling of the driving i mean it kind of makes sense like all the stuff that he was putting in the back of his vehicle is not gonna affect the car unless they put something that's heavier than the vehicle but anyways can you heal enemies and handcuff them and he replies with both are planned can you make your own buildings or can you take over pre-made buildings and he replies with you cannot build your own buildings but you can barricade existing buildings and even build fences and other smaller structures interesting moving on will there be seasons as in like autumn winter etc and he simply replies with yes Will zombies be able to break fortifications and climb through windows if fortifications are a thing? And the developer replies with, yes. Can you call someone on the phone and he or she can answer it, but only if you know the number? And the developer replies with, no phones are planned. Will you be able to make booby traps? And he replies with, placing down traps are planned. Is there a fast, regular reload, checking ammo, and using the scroll wheel for incremental stances? And he replies with, we have a reloading and ammo check system, but the other thing isn't planned. Will zombies in 
infect players? And he replies with, zombie infections have been talked about. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if they could like make like an inoculation system? You can get bit, but you won't get infected. And like you don't turn because you were inoculated. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, moving on. Is there going to be a drag and carry system? Like, will you be able to drag bodies? And the developer replies with, not dragging, but you can carry unconscious and dead players on your shoulders. That's cool. So we learned that people can get unconscious and you can actually carry them. That's kind of cool. Can you join a faction like a resistance or make your own thing? And he replies with, player joining AI factions is a planned thing. Okay, cool. Can you add like a plate carrier if the other is damaged? And he replies with, no. What's your current view about the scope of the game? For example, DayZ eventually included a new map in one of their updates. Would the devs want to have vast open spaces or smaller but content filled maps? And the developer replies with, we are not fans of running around for hours looking at nothing. We plan to make the map pretty densely populated and with interesting locations. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's the problem with like some of these games is that there's like vast open areas of just nothing but like grass and trees so that's kind of cool that they're actually going to fill it up with something all right moving on here in what way will zombies pose a significant threat in dead matter for example in day z zombies pose little to no threat hence most of the servers turned into pure pvp and he replies with zombies are supposed to be the number one threat in the game yes that's what i wanted even the simple fact of you shooting your gun will alert a ton of nearby zombies so this game is actually going to have consequences when you use loud weapons that's the one thing that i felt that daisy was really lacking is just like the actual threat of uh you know monsters coming at you but anyways is there any incentive not to kill someone on site and the developer replies with yes the zombies making too much noise will quickly swarm you but i would also like to know if there's any like incentive to actually try and work with somebody anyways moving on how scarce will loot be and would there be any limitation on military grade weapons and gear and he replies with loot is planned to be scarce and we focus on civilian equipment the most cool what role will food play in this game how easy would it be to find food and water and can we make farms and the developer replies with that's hooked up to our medical system shown in vlog 11 player farming is planned well that's cool to know wonder what you're going to be able to plant and that was all the ones that he was able to answer from my community but we're not done just yet i also had my own questions that he was able to answer and we also had a bit of a discussion about something specific which we are going to get into right now so the first thing that I asked him was, what about emotes and hand signals? And he replied with, we currently have four emotes, wave, thumbs up and down and flip off. Lol, <laughs> moving on. And then I asked, is it going to be like a map of the area? And am I able to mark on the map if there's like a specific spot or if I want to put down a waypoint or something? And he says, well, we do plan to have a physical map item and marking things with a pen and paper has been discussed. And I thought, cool, cool, cool. That's a start, I suppose. I asked if there was going to be spray paint in the game so like if you actually start up like a gang or something you can mark the area where your territory is with your logo or insignia and he says it was an idea, but they decided not to because people tend to draw racist stuff on levels and they just didn't want, you know, that to happen. Which, dang, it sucks, but I mean, I, I, I agree with him. Like, you know, people tend to do that kind of shit. On to the next thing here. I asked him if there was going to be different types of mags, like a 20 round mag all the way up to a drum mag. And he said, oh, absolutely. For example, we currently have a Ruger rifle with a 110 drum mag and they call it the Angry Beehive. Oh boy. Moving on. And this is where we get into a bit of a discussion here. Because I say this. Are you guys going to have a way to inoculate yourself from getting infected? And then he says, uh, infection mechanic has been discussed, but there's nothing like that currently in the game. Right now, zombies don't infect you. You know, they just kill you. And then I replied with, it would be so cool if you had like a goal to get yourself inoculated in the game. Because like the zombies could still kill you, but at least you're not infected. And then he replied with, I always wanted to have a mechanic in a zombie game where you have to to kill your old body to get your stuff back and i told him yeah that's very rare to see that you actually have to fight yourself to get your stuff back or if you get yourself inoculated then you won't need to fight yourself because you'd just be a dead corpse on the ground i'm just saying that that would be a really cool mechanic and that's where it kind of left off there then i asked him if there was going to be any silencers or suppressors and if it was possible to make a makeshift one like use duct tape or something and he replied with there are but he didn't know if they were planning on adding craftables for that specific but one thing that he did see was that you could actually use a car filter in the game as a suppressor. Didn't Modern Warfare do that? Could have sworn 
in the story mode they did that somewhere but anyways let's move on then i asked so i get that there is an incentive to not shoot someone but is there an incentive to actually work with someone and then he replied with yes each player can choose a former occupation in the character creator some of these like the carpenter have unique crafting recipes so then i said neat does that mean that there is some sort of character progression and then he says it's gear progression and faction and then i replied do you unlock things when you're with the faction is it like the more people you have the more stuff you can get and he replied with the stuff that you actually get depends on the traders and quest loot for factions okay so there's a different benefit for each faction interesting then i asked so is there a currency in the game or just trade and then it replies with yes there is a currency then i responded with and we get into a bit of a discussion here is faction wars possible like over a certain part of the map maybe and then it replied with that's something that he would like to do but it's not planned as far as he knows then i replied to him saying oh man i've never seen a game actually pull something like that off before like if people can actually band together and start thinking of ways of being self-sufficient like taking over a dam or a solar farm or a factory that pumps out bullets or something and you know has something worth trading and defending it's just rare <sighs> And very unfortunate that this game won't have something like that or maybe it will but we, we don't know yet and then i asked how many people do you expect to have on a server at one time and then he said 36 i initially thought that that was kind of low but then he said their bare minimum goal for population for a full map would be between 60 to 80 players but it's highly recommended that they only do 36 because there's going to be a lot of ai with zombies and animals and as soon as they add in smarter ai with humans they're going to have human squads running around every now and then like it's going to be a lot more pve focused and very acid heavy maps so yeah and that was pretty much all the questions that i decided to ask and yeah i mean I'm, I'm really glad that they decided to reach out to me it's a game that i've been highly anticipating for a while now and one of the reasons why i didn't cover it like before was because i had some doubts about the game because of some things that i thought were suspicious but after watching these recent dev blogs it's like no nah, this is an actual good game right here and the devs actually reaching out to me and talking to me oh man it's like i can't not like it so thank you the developers of dead matter for answering my questions and my community's questions i donated to your indiegogo so that i could try out the closed alpha it's gonna be coming out here pretty soon here and uh yeah i hope you guys like the information that i got for you and uh if you're someone that wants to check out the game i have multiple links down in the description for you to check out if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like dead matter be sure to like share and comment down below so i can kick the algorithm's ass if you're someone that's brand new stick around you know become a subscriber ding that bell maybe you'll find something that you like if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just sent two bucks a month and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye